students we'll start with our 10th last unit which is hotel property management system we'll talk about its purpose the buying methods module functions interface and brands let us just start with section 1 for unit 10 let us go through the definition for property management system which is pms It is a collection of hardware, software and liveware trained employees, okay? The purpose is to provide an automated hotel management solution. PMS or property management system is also interfaced. Connected to this uh, word interfaced means connected to with other standalone systems like POS, CRS, RMS C A S E M S E L S G D S. I'll give you the, you know, full form of all of these abbreviation. So P O S is point of sale, C R S is central reservation system, R M S is rooms management system, C A S is core accounting system. EMS is energy management system ELS is energy lightning system and GDS is global distribution system so kindly uh, note these full forms down as this can you know come as a uh, questions in your semesters okay this is a slide wherein you'll get all the abbreviations in an explained full form manner so kindly note this down with the last unit which is the 10th unit and we'll be talking about pms which is the property management system so we'll talk about pms the pms is uh, connecting all departments together you know postings and then accounting there are certain uh, information from the data center which is collected and with this collection of information we are able to run any hotel smoothly we are able to run any shift properly so uh, with a brief introduction with a drawing i will be uh, explaining you the details okay that we are going to study so this is a pms format okay will be uh, this is the data center that we have okay this is the data center which is connecting every other department and the activities associated with it first we have pos which is the point of sale in every uh, departments where in the uh, specifically restaurants we'll have a uh, point of sale okay where in every outlet can do their posting do the billing uh, so that's your first section we'll move into crm which is central reservation management so the reservation whatever comes into the hotel whatever guests are checking in we are getting all the information we are getting on the previous data maybe the upcoming future reservations can be seen through this and can be modified uh, this is a flexible system also so any changes that we would want to make that can be easily done in here then we have hr and payroll so uh, there are innumerable employees right we will not be able to uh, you know keep everything in mind keep everything in files right certain times we need to check their data and input it somewhere or there are a lot of uh, computerized work right so for that there is a proper system there is a, a proper site where in all the information is feeded in coded in by the hr and from there if we uh, you know just for example we type f8 we get the particular information uh, from the uh, account okay next we have account like i was saying then we have pms the property management system all of these details can be done then there is stock and costing everything that is in uh, you know required majorly by the accounts team and the uh, purchasing team wherein again if we there is a particular code if we feed in the code we get certain information and so on and so forth so we'll be uh, discussing about what all uh, important you know uh, new variations that are hotels bringing in what are the uh, in the future chapters to come in we'll talk about how this helps us uh, connecting and getting information 
and running the hotel properly. So, uh, because I am not being able to show you in uh, practicals how a PMS looks, how it operates, I'll help you with an example of uh, what all different types of PMS are there in market available. So, you see, these are the different types of PMS available in the market. One is Oracle Hospitality. A lot of hotels use this. An outdated version, but still they use this. Mostly hotels use Micros Opera right now. Uh, this you find in any hotel that you go for your training. Just uh, keep a check, keep a note that uh, majorly they use Micros Opera. Then we have Amadeus, which is a, again a property management system and that's a kind of outdated but uh, some hotels can definitely it's not obsolete but uh, people do use this and then we have the newer version which is IDS net so these are the major four famous PMS that uh, hotels use worldwide for unit 10 we'll talk about factors needed for a PMS first is that the operational workload and need for automation need for additional features applications and interface you know it helps us uh, as in web booking engine channel manager guest loyalty restaurants pos revenue management self check in uh, any application and uh, etc it also helps us in available budget for pms purchase Hotel software, internet connectivity, hardware, etc. There are varied goals and objectives that can be achieved, you know. Revenue, customer relations, service, labor, cost. So the PMS must provide a competitive edge with other hotels. The IT expertise of existing staff, high skill in-house server-based PMS, low skill, cloud-based solution so basically it should uh, you know have all the qualities of a highly skilled you know uh, software so it can uh, minimize too much labor that the existing stuff has to produce and also that everything happens in a smoother way everything happens in a proper uh, base like proper skilled in a proper skilled way now that we know the importance we'll have to understand how to purchase it and what are the factors that we should maintain when we have to purchase the PMS one is scalable for future expansion plans you know it can have an addition the hotel can have any addition to add rooms or properties so it has to be efficient enough that it can be flex it has to be flexible enough that it can accommodate anything and everything it has to be easy to use and maintained okay all hotel tasks can be performed you know housekeeping cash inventory payroll sales everything latest technologies must not be obsolete okay everything should be included in that integration with existing third party hardware and software tools like PABX, door locking system, cash draws, payment gateways, ID scanners that will boost the operational efficiency. That's the important word that that's the important role that we are looking for in any PMS. There are also other datas, okay? Security of data, securing a passwords uh, creating a cloud platform you know example would be amazon aws google cloud okay something like that vendors reliability for after sale support 24 to 7 technical support is to be there staff training checking on the third party reviewing site okay that's an example so kindly go through this example also must be comprehensive it has to be customizable which is why i had used the term flexible also software 
update has to be in a frequent manner and the policy and the price has to be you know preferred has to be you know the best amongst in the market now not everybody and anybody can you know provide that there is a standard council who maintains and checks on everything first and the most important is the price and value for money and also access on all devices and operating system so example american Ex express discover financial services jcb international mastercard and visa and corporations are the founding members of payment card industry security standard council and it makes and monitors accounting data security standards for credit and debit card theft and fraud prevention basically understood with this we finish section 2 for your unit 10 in the next section i'll help you with an example of all the property management system or the point of sale that hotels use okay the continuation of your section 4 volume 2 we'll talk about reservation module now with reservation we'll be able to understand the room status there are certain color coded that is done color coding done helps us understand the room status okay booking status if it's confirmed if it's pending if it's uh, you know ready for uh, you know uh, clearance all of that is available attaching guest messages automatic rate calculation creating group booking blocks there are certain blocks there are certain codes which are picked up in certain reservation okay rooming list so for uh, any group arrival there is a particular kind of rooming list so it's easier when and how the members of a group come in with the help of a rooming list we are able to release room pretty uh, in a very systematic manner so a rooming list help us during that time during a group arrival special group rates pre-assigning assigning room before the arrival of guests so it's easier when the guest come in we can make the you know uh, registration fast and allocate the room and provide the room to the guest define sharer booking so there's uh, if a room is being shared by two members one is a primary member and the second person sharing the room with him is known as the sharer the second occupant sending automatic confirmation through mails through sms through faxes or through telephone okay whichever the hotel follows process of advance payment then there's adding of remarks tracing for guests you know services that is checking up on guest reservation so with a pms for reservation we can do all of this thing now how does a pms help when in the front desk helps in check-in helps in a dis display of the room layout with location tracking guest activities printing grc grc is known as guest registration card okay attaching information to the folios transferring of accounts creating split folio remember in when we were talking about accounting we had spoken about split folios if you forget kindly refer to that chapter also updating room chain statuses and guest services with a room model the hotel helps us in display of the layout of floor wise plans scrolling up and down to floors zooming and having a close view of room display room so uh, with when i choose hk the housekeeping you know the way the housekeeping has released room can be viewed when i choose fo the front office the way the front office is releasing and keeping rooms on hold we can view that latest room status scheduling maintenance if the room is on os or out of order we can check you know so that's what the next point says triple o or oos out of service then if we are running on a plus occupancy or if we uh, running on a minus occupancy then there's scheduling linen change you know for long stay room the, all of this information is provided and tracking of discrepancies okay 
just as an example i'll just show you how it look so you see there are the different color codings done flow wise mapping is done certain section is green which is vacant these are occupied and certain are in yellow which is under maintenance and that's the floor plan okay in the next series in the next section i'll tell you how the blocking is done we we'll talk about the particulars of a different hotel the particular needs of different hotels and their preferred pms so pms is a combination of many software and tools now each module serving a particular need of the hotel motel or any condominium different properties have their unique needs right which is why not uh, globally everybody uses the same and the uh, same kind of pms every hotel because of their varied needs they will definitely have different pms setup so let us understand how that happens now first we'll talk about a definition wherein each of a set of standardized parts or independent units that can be used to construct a more complex structure such as an item of furniture or building now i've got you an example of how a reservation screen looks this is a folder this is a the inside of a reservation screen you see that's the guest last name that's the guest's first name the country the language that he's preferred certain details his arrival his departure number of people staying in the room type room number code these are the code that is you know picked up the rate that is picked up the package that is you know paid for his arrival time contact number certain these information which is to be produced these are the codes this is one kind of a property management system that's majorly used for certain hotels you know if it reaches the standard if it is true to the standards the hotel follows the procedure that the hotel follows now if we specifically talk about the uh, modules of a pms the certain details required for a pms in front office the importance would be that it has to have a reservation front desk management rooms cashiering night audit or day end process a proper setup reports back office work purchase stores telephones sales and marketing and accounts receivable these majorly apart from front office these are also certain you know sectors wherein pms is required and everything let me tell you everything is interrelated this can be related to the reservation can be related to the sales and marketing telephone can be you know connected to the rooms so like so let us be briefly go through what all uh, the pms helps us in creating so if we click on the reservation it will help us create and manage bookings for free individual travelers or group travelers has front desk it will help us managing check in and help us with the registration of every guest room it will help us with the room features the room view location status and the assigning of room the blocking of room cashiering it helps us in managing the guest account also posting charges and managing check out because i cannot provide a room unless and until uh, the folio the folio is made out to a zero account otherwise once uh, there are some open cash or something which is left the i cannot show a check out in the room so every charge has to be cleared out also for the end of the day process or which is also known as night audit it will help balance all hotel accounts and make reports after manually checking all transactions pms will also help us to set up 
settings as per the hotel's requirement, room types, numbers, taxes and tariff. Reports creating operational and financial management information which is known as MIS and in back office it will help us creating database and management of internal financial and operational statistics. The modules used will talk about Opera. Opera helps in reservation, helps in customer information. It is a GDS interface and a sales force automation. Now let's see. That is how an Opera screen looks. Okay. We also have Micros Fidelio. So Fidelio is a property management system. It's a reservation system and also a point of sale system. This is Amadeus. Helps in front office. Sales and marketing, conference and banqueting, and financial management. That is Amadeus. We'll now talk about IDS Fortune. For, it's an enterprise of a Fortune group of hotels. Fortune Express, which refers to middle, middle uh, scale budget hotels. Fortune Genie is a limited service for B&B motels, service apartments. And that is your logo, the brand for Fortune, IDS Fortune. Now that we have spoken about the different kind of PMS, let us talk about the more specific, more important attributes that it should have. It should have a high performance, right? Unless and until it gives us the necessary speed required, what is the use? It should have a scalability, which is it has to adapt to the growth of the hotel component integration the hardware devices standalone system should be well connected should work well together intuitive it should be designed according and work logically again it also should be very easy to manage so that every employee can you know work on it comfortably and it should be stable for the equipment that it has been installed in. Also help us with the revenue growth reports. Okay. Now a global distribution system which is GDS is a large computer network that passes inventory and rates for hotels to travel agents and different travel sites. It is also used by other travel segments such as car rental and airlines. Not majorly through hotels, okay? There are online travel agencies. OTA. You will get this term very often in hotels. So OTA is an online travel agency. We, these are online companies whose website allow customers to book various travel related services directly via internet. They are the third party agents reselling trips, hotels, cars, flights, vacation packages and they are organized online. For an easier understanding, a list of travel companies, popular travel companies has been given. Okay. So there's Make My Trip, there's Yatra, there's Clear Trip, Thomas Cook, Cox and Kings, Travel Guru, Guai Bibo. These are the examples. Hotels also get bookings from these sites. Talk about cashier module. Helps us add any incidental folios, transfer charges between accounts. Retrieve folios. If one folio is gone, we can try and retrieve that. Post, debit and credit adjustments and transfers. Everything can be done. Viewing and printing of folio. Process a speedy checkout. Which is a quick calculation and attach unlimited folios to one account. I can make n number of tables, n number of you know blocks for the same account. In a night audit module, it helps us with posting of room rate, 
changing of reservation for room status, backing up certain data, rebuilding of a room after the crashes happened, you know, bugs that I was talking about, directing access to report module, step by step process display, post auto service, auto post recurring change, any auto update room status, batch printing of uh, guest registration cards, process retention charge, printing certain reports, archiving all details and closing out or shutting down of the system in total. Then if a setup is needed, you know, that also can be done. So helps in specifying mandatory fields for data, customing, you know, customizing fields and formats, customizing according to market source rate code, then uh, defining tax, uh, text, sorry, defining text inputs for field, defining and customizing through color codes, define user access, you know, login, having a login and a password, you know, certain data are not to be presented in front of each and every uh, employee. So if I want to keep it a little secret, if I want to uh, not disclose it in front of anybody, I can go ahead and use a, a password for the same system specifying room rate codes availability with season with uh, days there's a rate and there's a length of stay everything can be done creating profiles for uh, free individual travelers group travelers certain companies travel agents all of that thing can be done with setup module with the reporting module, it helps us in providing ready-to-use formats, retrieve operating or financial information with arrival, departure list, room position, folio balances, total accounts receivable, and restrict access to report using filters and user access system, you know, password and all of that thing. Now, with a back office module, we can help in managing financial and operational statistics we can auto update an entire PMS module, simplifying account process and it is also linked at the night audit. Now let us also know that a PMS interface is a standalone system. What all can be done? A POS is a revenue center cash registry register. So helps us in posting and you know cancelling and taking payments for revenue centers. CAS is an automatic call tracking and billing system. EMS helps us in managing energy and consuming devices, you know, cutting out on certain powers. And ELS helps us in, ran, uh, you know, checking on electronic key cards. As in if the key is activated, if the key is deactivated, which room number key is that one. And, you know, if uh, it's not working, we can again reissue the key card. So, for that, an ELS is there. Now, we'll talk about big brands of PMS, okay? The major ones that is used worldwide, okay? It is used worldwide. One is Micros. Then is Amadeus. Then there's Ideas Fortune. Then there's Showman. In the following next section, I'll help you with how... These PMS looks as a brand, okay? I'll help you with the images. Modernized as uh, we are trying to, you know, have less fuss, less interaction with uh, people and we are trying to make it uh, very systematic, very automated. So, uh, hotels are bringing in a lot of change. Uh, previously, everything was, you know, very manually done. You know, you have to provide a pen, a paper, there are 100 steps. So just to avoid, uh, you know, uh, cutting time, just to avoid this much of fuss, you know, uh, using so much paper and so much efficiency and uh, just to cut all of this down, uh, hotels are, you know, approaching modernized version. They're bringing in uh, modern tools, modern equipments and, uh, you know, giving it a very professional yet a very modernized touch. Initially, you wouldn't have, you know, uh, internet services and all of that. But now, internet is, is a very major thing, okay? Any any guest, be it like a little uh, 7 years old to, you know, 60s, 70s, everybody, they are very associated with internet, okay? We need a little bit of internet for relaxation, for work and for 
a lot of other activities so that is a main criteria of any guest right now so we are having you know changes in uh, the Wi-Fi system there's Wi-Fi all throughout the hotel there's a personalized Wi-Fi system wherein a uh, you know you just have to and this is a very uh, common and a natural thing not every guest as in frequent travelers they definitely they don't check in and every time with different hotels they go and and ask uh, what is my uh, Wi-Fi password or how do I log in it's very become very simple it's just uh, gonna be your uh, last name or whatever that you are comfortable you can make changes accordingly maybe uh, but majorly this is this remains the same in every other hotel that uh, your last name and the room number is your password and login id and uh, with this they're also bringing in a lot of other variations the internet speed is a very important thing we also look for high internet speed you know wherein we can work efficiently Certain equipments for in-room entertainment wherein uh, TV, mu uh, music players, you know, CDs and HD TVs, everything, everything has to be equipped uh, in the room, you know. Uh, you never know that maybe small children wherein they might get a little bored. So you also have this facility from the front desk wherein they do have a collection of, uh, you know, good um, Hollywood uh, series good uh, Bollywood series you and uh, you know uh, fantasy movies science fiction movies just to keep your guests entertained and not feel bored uh, you know if they are stepping outside home certain hotels are also developing a new format a new system of check-in wherein a self check-in process can be easily done you know uh, when you're taking a flight and suddenly you uh, there's a layover layover meaning and uh, the next flight that you have to catch is on a long you know uh, after a long hour so you need a little uh, place to stay and you know freshen up and have a little tidbit so just for that you might need a hotel you know anytime soon so with that uh, you know while you're traveling in a flight you can use that app of uh, you can use that uh, app of that hotel and uh, certain hotels do have connection with flights wherein they do wherein uh, you get the module free so uh, with this you know this uh, self check in process first it is very uh, time saving so it uh, is a very rapid thing and uh, you know uh, a lot of first that uh, certain thing that you don't want to share your card details maybe you don't want to have this much of talking maybe you're very tired you, you just want to quickly finish up wrap up things uh, definitely check-ins nowadays has become uh, you know very quick very fast you don't have to wait 15 20 minutes at the reception waiting for room with this process you know with the self check-in process you can choose a package for yourself you can choose um, you know uh, what view uh, room do you want what uh, category room do you want everything can be uh, you know customized according to your choice and that can be done in a touch also check-in nowadays doesn't really happen only in pen and paper so uh, hotels like uh, the Oberoi's hotels like uh, Marriott they have you know introduced uh, factors wherein they have iPads they have uh, you know tablets they have a lot of other system wherein you know digitally they are trying to do and make a difference and that looks very modernized and gives a very nice uh, fancy feel to the guest also along with that uh, you know conferences business hall uh, business uh, meetings that happens uh, the banquets the uh, conference halls everything is very tech savvy they have uh, very state of the art equipments and uh, so everything these also these equipments also has to be connected with the proper system so uh, with this we'll just continue and shift on to the section 2 wherein I'll give you details about the PMS our last unit 10th unit which is property management system or in short we, we call it PMS also a very interesting fact that I'm going to uh, show with you guys share with you guys is the coding system this is a very important part and people the students who are going to take front office you will have a great use of this so rooms in uh, you know the PMS is shown as the status okay we see we can see status and a judge according to their color so you see rooms have been divided according to color coat okay so when the room is vacant it's color and coded green okay 
when the room is a VVIP, a very uh, room of a very important guest. Uh, maybe he's uh, commercially important. Maybe he's a minister. Maybe he's an actor. Maybe he's an important, you know. Uh, maybe he's from the part of the owners. So those rooms are specially made and prepared and double checked and are coded as VIP rooms and are blocked. And how are they blocked? They have an option which is DNM, do not move. So when, uh, if you're an associate, you do not have uh, the permission to go and change or disturb the room setup, okay? In the system also, you cannot physically go in the room, okay? You do not have the permission. So uh, that is done. And uh, then is a dirty room, okay? The room which is dirty means uh, the guest has used the room and then they have uh, left the room. The guest has departed and the room has not been checked yet by housekeeping, has not been cleaned yet. Okay, it's a dirty room. Then we have a complimentary room, can be color coded with yellow or you know, uh, other variation, whichever is in the system. Then we have a comp, uh, so I'm so sorry, complimentary room is as the word suggests, complimentary. You know, uh, sometimes it's a uh, uh, provided as a gift to the uh, hotel employees or uh, you know uh, the duty manager the uh, MOD who is staying inside the hotel the manager on duty manager on duty usually stays with the hotel on a Saturday or a Sunday and is in charge if the general manager is not in town or he is not at the hotel premises has a different you know has a different site to visit so that is the person who is after the general manager who is the MOD so maybe he is given the complimentary room so that's color coded with complementary uh, in uh, you know code and is again DNN. Then we have a departure room. Departure room meaning uh, again the guest uh, who is supposed to depart in a few while. Maybe uh, he's departing. So that's a due back room, also known as a due back room. Then we have an occupied room, which means the guest is still present and staying, and it's color coded with red. Now the color system can be different, maybe very slight difference, maybe uh, most of them remain same like for the, for example, a vacant, a VIP, dirty, occupied, departure, mostly remain same. There can be a slight difference, but uh, this is majorly how the system goes. Okay, I hope uh, you're learning and uh, understanding the chapters seriously and if you have any question, definitely get back to me.